Come with us now on a journey through time and space. To the world of the mighty Bosch. Day. Some joker dropped bamboo in the penguin enclosure. They all vaulted out. It's a nightmare. Mm. Took me all morning to get them back in. <laughs> oh, what about you? Have you had a good day? What's wrong with you? Nothing. That's just that you seem a Just that the zoo's falling apart. What are you on about? Look around. The place is crumbling. You know, there's no animals we've got worth speaking of. What, you, what about Mr. Bolo? Uh, Bolo, yeah, a hundred-year-old ape. He's bringing him in, isn't he? He stinks. Hey, come on. He's a wise old ape. He's oh, brilliant. Is he really? Yeah, he's got a gift. He can talk. He tells me stuff. Does he? Yeah, he tells me about the future. Really, the future? Does he tell you about the future of this place? The way it's all collapsing? The way it's just descending into nothingness and death and nothingness? He doesn't deal in that kind of bleak imagery. No, he doesn't, does he? He deals in the imagery of you two riding off together on a banana horse to the land of magic pies. It's not on. This place is falling apart. And you know whose fault it is, don't you? Whose fault is it? Bob Fossil. Bob Fossil. Coming over here with his fancy notions about how to run a zoo. Announcement. Would everyone please keep away from the muskrat cage? He's completely naked. I don't want anybody seeing his raw hiney. Except for another muskrat. And with the Russian family, please stop using the spiders as eye patches, you freak. I gotta read a book. It was never like this. Not when Tommy ran the zoo. Oh, God. Tommy, where are you now? Tommy, where are you now? Tommy, where are you? He's dead. Don't say that about Tommy. He fell in the ocelot pit. Did Everyone he? knows that. They'd never found his body. They munched him down like an old twix. I find that very difficult to believe, okay? Tommy was a big man. So? Yeah. What was he doing in the ocelot pit? He should have been in the chameleon boudoir. He, he was, was a lizard man. He was covering for another keeper. And who was that other quite keeper? Who was that other keeper? Bob Fossil. Bob Fossil, exactly. Do you see what I'm saying here? See what I'm trying to build? You know? He was a big man anyway. An ocelot was no match for Tommy. Tommy was a big jungle warrior, trained in the art of forest combat. You know, he knew about how to deal. He could handle himself, could Tommy. He was a big man, a handsome man, handsome. a brave man. Handsome? Yes. I've seen footage of him. He had a big wide head. Yeah. Little stumpy legs. Yeah, well, that was the look, wasn't it, in the 1940s? What, that was all, the barrel head? It was all the rage, the big head and the short legs. Women would swoon when Tommy sh- shuffled into a room. Didn't you know that? I find that very hard it's to believe. It's all true, a different aesthetic then, you know. Look, I mean, look at you now. What? Okay, What's look at your, with me? Look at your feather cut, the, fa- the little the jeans, the little bony face, yeah. the cheekbones. You'd put you I'm back, contemporary. Trans- you, exactly, transport you back to the 1940s. Yeah, you'd be immediately imprisoned for being a witch. Okay, Tommy, the look, his look, that was only just one part of what Tommy had. Really? Yeah, one part of his, his all-round package. Tommy was many things. He was an all-round package. He was, and he had many other facets to his bow. This place, he wanted to be a menagerie of exotic animals, all roaming around in their natural habitat. Not what I see now. What was Fossil doing? I look around, there's apes dressed in little blue pants. I know, There's a fox dressed as a nurse. It's not on. It's just, I've had enough. I'm going to find out what happened to Tommy. He wasn't wasn't killed. He's alive. I know he's alive. Howard, I can sense it. And I'm going to find out what happened to him. I'm going to go to where he was last seen, Vince. No way. I'm going to the jungle room. That is a kind of fresh madness. Well, I don't care. I'm going there. No one's been in there. Yeah. For years and years. Exactly. 25 years. It's quite convenient. It's all boarded up. You're not even allowed in there. Fossil says so. Really? I don't care about Fossil's little instructions. They call me the Maverick. I'm going in there, Vince. It's a dangerous mission. And I'm asking you... If you want to come with me, are you in? I'd like to, but I've got to play table tennis with Mr. Bolo. 
Okay. Well, now at least I know uh, where you stand. Thanks. Uh, oh, that's a good. That's a cheeky. Okay. <laughs> Get your stuff. Let's go to the jungle. I can't. I'm playing table tennis. Oh, uh, uh, the second time got me. That's good. Uh, get your stuff. Should we go now? I'm really playing table tennis. Uh, ow! I'll see you in the jungle room in an hour. Okay. Is it true what he said, Mr. Bolo? Would I really have been branded a witch in the 40s? No. Oh, good. <laughs> Banana horse. Are you good? Then we fly in a horse of banana good. Good. I was a bit worried for a while. You're happy now? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Moon. Moon, where the hell are you? Hey, you over there. Who, me? No, King Tut. Hello. Yeah, have you seen Howard Moon? Big tall guy, looks like a freak giraffe. Uh, no way, you ain't seen him all morning. All right, well, listen, I, the zoo is falling up. What are the Russians doing in my booth? Listen! You! The baboons are naked! Their tits are flapping all over the place! They need some bras! Quick! Now, pronto! Get them on! I'll see what I can do. All right, you do it fast! I've got to get to the booth! Jeez! I need some drugs! Greasy moon with your shiny white face. Mate, and your milk mate I need your help. Hello there, fella. I know you. What? You're the guy who plays table tennis with the apes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got beat today. What? Pretty bad. What? Hey, Bolo whooped your ass today. Who told you that? Bolo. <laughs> He's such a liar. Ooh. He's a filthy liar. Anyway, that's none of your business. I need your help. Where's the jungle room? Well, uh, sometimes if you're looking for a place, it can help to look inside yourself. What? Just something I say. Where's the jungle room? Over by the cockerel lounge, turn left at the chameleon boudoir. Okay. You'll find it there. Cheers, thanks, okay. mate. Um, and if you see Fossil, yeah, don't tell him you saw me, whatever you do. Look, look, whoa well there, sir. You're in a rush. Sometimes it helps to look around at the tree. Yeah, cheers, mate. Oh. The tree is a man, and the man is a tree. The branch is an arm and the young What the hell? Get the freak out of here! Take that hat off! No vodka! Get out of here! Shut the door! Howard Moon! Where the hell are you? Howard! Howard! Where is he? Oh! Vince, Vince, what are you doing? Ah! Monkeys, leave him! Leave him be! Oh, oh, I've been dealt a terrific mauling. Vince, oh, Vince. beaten by the old age. Vince, what's the matter? The silver grey monkey. What happened? What happened? Oh, I'm so unlucky, I fell right in the monkey pit. All these big, massive monkeys with long, stringy arms poking me in the eyes, and then little monkeys all Calm getting down. their belly button. You're all right. Will you come dressed like that to the forest? For like me? what? Like that, like a Camden leisure pirate. I'm in a band. On your big silver boots. That's not going to fit in the I'm forest. A, what, I'm in a band. What if I have to play a gig at a drop of a hat? We're in a forest. Yeah. I might have to do a benefit for some pine cones. Listen, we're, we're in a forest. You've got to blend in. Look at what I've got on here. What's happening this there? This is my look. Check is it, it out. You What's see? that all about? Forest casual. Forest casual. With a leafy gent. You see what I'm looking like? Come on now. You look like a knob. You got a... Hey. You've got to respect the forest, OK? You've got to get with the bracken. You've got to move with the moss. You've got to speak the forest language, Vince. Come to Gaia. Is it French, the forest? Don't mock the forest, OK? Please don't mock the forest. Don't, don't mock, mock forest. Don't mock forest. I'll mock forest. No, forest no, is no, flimsy no, no, fool. No. You mock forest. Forest sends mockage. Really? You come at you fast, like a screaming ball of hot bark. Oh, yeah. You don't know what's happening. You wake up in France riding round on a cheese horse. Going, oh, me brie hoof. Oh, me e Oh, look at this. What's that? There's a door in this tree. Oh, my God. This is what? the place. Tommy spoke at this place. Really? He must have been here. No way. Knock on the door. I'll Maybe do he's I'll inside. I'll deal with this. Oh, hello, my little pretty, my little angel. Who to be married on the morrow, my tiny little child? What? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a pretty lady. Hmm, do beg your pardon. Can we come in, please? What for? Well, we're looking for someone. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, we're looking for uh, Tommy. Tommy? Tommy Nuka, have you Tommy seen Nuka? him? Tommy Nuka. Tommy Nuka, very uh, wide head, short leg man. Maybe I have seen him, maybe I haven't. Have you seen him? Lots of people come through here, how could you possibly expect me to remember? Well, can we come in anyway? Oh, maybe you can. Oh yes, you can come in. Well, yes, can we then? of course you can come in. You can come in, okay, but you can never leave. Okay. 
Do you understand the concept? Yes. You can come in, but you can never leave. That's fine. No, listen to me. It's, a, it's like a membrane, not a two-way membrane, a one-way membrane. If you come in this place, that's it. It's over. You can never leave. We haven't got much on. Say your lens, Rosie. Bye, little Ken. Well, so he can leave. Oh, he can leave, all right. Look at him leaving like a little conquer in the night. Oh, he can leave, little Ken. Do you know why he can leave? Because he's too small. He's too small for the membrane. Vince, this guy's insane. I know, I know. Look, let me deal with it, all right? I'll too have a word with him. The brain. Uh, hi, I'm Vince Noir, rock and roll star. <laughs> You've probably heard of me. I'm in a band, actually. Oh, you're in the band, are you? Oh, I see. Why didn't you just say in the first place? Okay, here you go. Told you. Yeah, all right. You wear a club policy, are you? Whatever. Okay, downstairs, fur on the left. Come and collect you at reception. Too small. Why do you have to lie all the time? What do you mean? I am in a band. Well, yeah, but, you know, we're not in a band, are we? We could be. <laughs> Come on, Chimpy, put on this bra quick. Your tits are all over the place. Come on, little chimp. Hey there, here Mr. Fossil. Look at you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing your job over here. That's what I'm doing. Just thought Come I'd on, let chimp. you know that I was uh, you... passing by the lion enclosure there, Mr. Fossil. Yeah, looked what? Looked up, saw a guy. He looked like he was going to jump. Oh, not another jumper. Oh, it's a sad oh, day. I can't do everything. Have you found Moon yet? Uh, I'm afraid I haven't seen him. Well, what about Vince? He's got a great face. He could charm him down with uh, his face. I haven't seen him either. Well, what am I going to do? Hey, I don't know. Hey, Mr. Fossil, calm down. You know, sometimes when you get upset huh? or the world ain't treating you right, yeah. what I do is I look on up at the sky, look on up at old Mr. Moon. He don't worry. He just keep on shining Who down. The freak are you? They call me Tony Ice. I now travel. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I never worry, I never care, just look on up, you know he's there, let me hear you. All about the moon, won't you shine your milky beams down on me? Get me with the milky ray. All about the moon, won't you shine your milky beams down on me? Zap me with the creamy laser. This is amazing. I know, it's outrageous. It's huge. I'm going over there to mingle, OK? OK. Um, see if anyone's seen Tommy. All right, I'm going to get some peanuts. Good evening, and welcome to Club Nambahar, you know. You're on after the next act. What do you mean? Well, you're the band. What? No. No, yes. no, we are. Yeah, you're we're the band, no. yeah. Oh, right. No, we are the band. Oh, right, we're yeah, we're Vince, Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. The ladder. Coins. The ladder coins. Yes, the ladder coins. Here are your refreshments. Oh, wow, great. In the dressing room. Cream soda. Yes, and pickles, too. Mm, great. All right, so uh, we'll see you after the gig, then. You are aware of the policy. Yeah, whatever. Uh, actually, no, I've forgotten. What was it again? Actually, it's very simple. It's based on ancient Roman gladiators. If you perform well, you live. If you play badly, the penalty is death. If the crowd dislikes you in any way, death. If the gig goes badly, death. If it starts out well and then goes a bit shaky, death. Enjoy the gig. Bye. Vince, I'm going to hurt you so much. Look, I, I, I didn't know, you did to I? The land of hurt. I didn't know about the policy. Oh, what are we going to do? Let it be all right. Yes, we're going to die. You see me on stage? I'm a mesmerizer. You're a mesmer. Are you going to mesmerize the audience into thinking we've got a band? It'll we be haven't all got right. any instruments. Look, we just improvise. Don't worry about what it. What do you mean, improvise? Who are you? We're oh, not good. Don't worry about it, all right? Come on. Let's go and check out this first guy. And now, Bruno Mindhorn. Mindhorn, Bruno, Mindhorn, Mindhorn. I swim backwards, forwards, sideways. I'm in love with a woman. She's got no eyes. I found her drawing cows near Bruges. I don't know her name. I call her Mrs. China. She wear a coiffure, but it ended in bloodshed. Now she lives in a glass case in the town hall in Ghent. And every three years, on a Tuesday, I dust her. 
My name is Gordon. Gordon. He's a bit good, isn't he, Bruno? Gordon. What do you mean? He's going down a storm. Look at him. His act is weak. How are we going to follow this? Look, if they like this, they're going to love us. Bruno Mindhorn. Yeah, Mindhorn. Yeah. Mind we love you, Bruno. Yeah. Bruno. You shall live Woo. to play another day. And now, next on the bill, at Club Grada Bar, a new act, very exciting, the Ladder Coins. Good evening, we're the Ladder Coins, and have we got some stuff for you? Death, 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 death. Great, I'm really glad I brought you along on this trip, Vince. Well, it's not my fault, is it? That was a nightmare, that crowd. Hang on, there's someone in the next cell. Hi. Hi. Hello. Don't, what? Don't, don't, don't do that. What? You're in prison now. You've got to let people know who you are, what you're about, you know? Show them who's boss. I'll deal with this. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Howard Moon. I'm in the next cell. Huh? I just want to say um, I'm new in, uh, on the block uh, and I'm here. So I'm not to be trifled with. That's what I'm saying. So just spread that around, will you? I'm going to kill you with a brick. What? I'm going to burst your head. Oh, Jeff. Vince. Vince, stop skull. panicking. Vince. I heard what he said. Just stop panicking, all right? Do? So just give me a second to think, all right? All right. Okay, just be quiet, okay. all right? And let me right. think. I'll mm. think of something. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna crush your body. Vince, up to a car. wake up! I'm Vince, see you flat and then scrape you up. Oh God! An old shopping bag. Oh no! I'm gonna snap your nose off. Vince, and toss it at a vicar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Give listen away. up. Look, let's go through this again. Your wife doesn't love you. You're ugly. You're an asshole. Your eyes stink. You got no job, no prospects. Your mommy thinks you're a loser. All I'm saying is if you jump, jump to the right over there. The lions have already eaten, but the leopards haven't. I'm trying to run a zoo. My staff's all run off. I got topless baboons. I said to the right, loser. Oh, jeez. Somebody scoop that up. Are we to be married on the morrow, my pretty child, my sweet angel? I beg your pardon, sir? Oh, sorry, I thought you were a lovely lady. I'm a traveling hobo, just passing mm, through. Really? You do realize if you came in here, you could never leave? Yep, I uh, don't intend to come in there, sir. Yeah, I just that's what pass they, on through. That's what they all Nature say, but if you came in here by accident, if you followed a puffin in here, and you only came for a brief second, sir, you could still, I'd well, shut the door down, and say it's sir, over. There, yeah. And you said I'm only coming in momentarily. I'd yep. shut the door and say it's okay. over for you. Calm down, never now, leave. Sir, you yeah. can never leave. Calm down. Never leave. Calm down. Nah. You're spitting all over me, no. sir. You wanna... oh, Calm God. down. You're all wound oh. up there, sir. You're all I'm so stressed. Wound up hard as a pack of muffins. Oh, help. You want to relax a I little, know. sir? What's the matter? I don't know. It's this job. I'm just getting me down. I have my ram's legs. I mean, I'm so lonely here, mm. working the club door. I mean, I've just, I just, I want to meet a lovely lady. Oh, I hear you. I know that feeling. Yes. Sometimes if you're lonely, sir, it can help to sing a song. You know that? Really? Yep, it's not a bad idea. Ooh, it's, a, it's a tasty rhythm. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Are we to be married on the morrow, my child? Oh, will I always be alone? Are we to be together forever and a day? Oh, will I always be this way? As I dreamed of a hedge where you laid your head, the grass was red, the seagull screamed. Oh, can it be? Is it just a dream? Am I to see through your eyes? Are we to be married on the morrow, my child? Oh, will I always be this way? Oh, will I always be this way? Now. Oh, will life always be this way? Sing, Tony! Can I ever love? Will I ever touch? Can I ever see? Can I ever dream? Will I ever be? Can I ever find what I need? I, I can't see! I can't, can't breathe! Yeah. I'm spiraling now in infinity. Oh, look what you did! You came into my woods with your tiny little eyes and your hair made of wool. Now it's over. Woo. Now I loved you and oh, how I needed you. Oh, life! 
down on the floor like a crispy noodle cup boy yeah. dreaming that you were once the child of a wolf with your paper arms and wrists I worshipped you I needed you with your see-through scorpion on the belly and your tiny little claws hammering away at the pigeon's eyebrow climbing up your head as if it were an elaborate child's climbing frame oh ladders to the moon with your cardboard pastry basely silver iron values your scrunchy silhouette creeping around just like the Chinese Cadbury roll it's over I hate you it's over Ooh. That seems to have done the trick. Thank you. We had to be of service. You take care now. Bye. I'm gonna suck out the meat from your face. I'm gonna hammer you flat and then scrape you off the floor like a piece of lino. Yeah, 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 yes. Okay. Can you just pipe down a little bit now, please? What? Well, you know, do you have to go on like this all the time on one level? It's been three hours now. I'm getting a bit cheesed off. I'm pure evil. Yeah, I know you are. It's very good. I'm very proud of you. But can you just, you know, shut up now, please? Can't, I mean, it must be boring for you, never mind me. I mean, can't you just vary the levels or something, you know? Start small, build up. It's dynamics. I'm not sure I understand what you're saying. Well, did you always do evil things in your life? Oh, yeah. That's all I'm interested in is evil. Yeah, but, I mean, when you were young, you know, surely there was something you did before you were evil that was, you know, not evil. Don't know about that. Oh, when I was a nipper, I used to fly kites. And I loved it. I used to design my own kites and take them down the heath. Stand there in the afternoon sun. There's something there, right there. Look at that. Flying a kite in the afternoon. That's something that's more like it. You see, you could tell people about that, and then it would make them stay here at this prison. A little bit less painful, wouldn't it? You'd be ease the tension of the place a little bit. You know, why don't you try that? I don't know if it'll work. I mean, I'll give it a try. Let me go, well, maybe go and write a few ideas down. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go and write a few ideas down. Where's my little pad? I'll be in here if you need me. No. Howard Moon. Please, no, I I don't want to die now. I I can't die now. I've got too much to give. Tell up, I'm trying to rescue you. Come, follow me and bring your companion. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vince, 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 wake up. We're being no, rescued, leave Vince. leave him asleep. He will be less conspicuous that way. Place him in this hold all. Let's go. Follow me, quick. This way. Oh. Now stop. Sleep. Wake up, there's no yeah, time. Yeah. Comb your hair. Let us whistle. Stop! The time for whistling has passed. We must continue. Follow me. Come, let us go through the lake. I can't swim. Leap onto my huge head. Come, follow me. Touch me. No, I don't like that. Climb up this bank now. Oh no, I've forgotten Vince. Don't worry, I'll go back. You wait here. Solve this puzzle while I'm gone. Here's pen and paper for you. Have you solved the puzzle? Uh, Four across was emu. Yeah. Anyway, there's no time. Come, into this bush. Climb aboard these mules. They are lame. Shoot them and sell them for off. Get a good price. That was a good price. It's pretty much straight on for about two miles now. This is my humble dwelling. We will be safe here. Oh, it was quite a journey. Have we uh, lost them, do you think? Who? Well, people uh, chasing us. There was no one chasing us. Uh, well, Distance is its own reward. Come, warm yourself by my fire. Who are you who hides his face behind a mask? I thought you would recognise my voice, but very well. I shall reveal myself. Oh, my God. Yes, it is I, Tommy. Tommy. I thought you were dead. Ha, 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 ha. I'll tell you the story of how I came to be here over a simple broth which I have prepared. But first, wake your companion. Vince, 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 we're free. <sighs> we're free, we've escaped. Mm. I told you I'd think of something. Yeah, didn't yeah, I? yeah. My God, your friend. He has the appearance of a witch. What? Yes, his face is all bony, boned up. Have you heard of heroin chic, you stocky hammerhead? Vince, this is Tommy. Oh, right. He rescued us, he's oh, alive. Sorry. Come now, let us not dwell on appearances. It's not yours, you back of the spoon pig. Come, Vince. come, let us enjoy this simple broth I've prepared for us. A 
and it was on that night that I realized I would stay here in the forest and make a home for myself and take a wife. So I settled here and I planted seeds, parsley, radish, wheat, cress, barley, but no corn, for I couldn't find any. And I remember thinking what a bizarre twist of fate that there should be barley, cress, Howard, wheat. This bloke is so boring. Sure. I know, I know. Oh, it's how sorry. I laughed as I contemplated the cornless situation that I found myself in. And I told my friend Kristoff. I said, Kristoff. This is rubbish. What yeah, kind of a mad world are you living in? When, when I was young, I don't know. How it was much more barley. impressive then. What can a man do? No he really hasn't aged well either. His head's even Christoph wider. Said, he looks ridiculous. I've got a couple of ears, but I need them. And I said, could I borrow one? He went, no. And I said, very well. May I take a picture of them and at least show them to my wife? And he agreed. And from that day forth, we held slideshows of various plants that we would show each other and maybe swap them and embellish them with magic markers if we wanted to add in lines or faces. Can we go? No, just at least do the courtesy of listening but to the rest of his story. But he soon tired of this. And so, that ends the first chapter of my life story. Now there will be an interval and my son Saul will sing. Saul was a mute for 30 years. Until one day, not only did he speak, but the boy sang. So now, please, I give you my son Saul with his song, Everything I Have Ever Seen, but have been unable to talk about until now. I will accompany on the French horn. Vince, where are you going? I'm going, I've had enough. Don't leave me here. I've got to get out. I can't wait here. Oh, come on, let's go. All right. First I saw the soil. Then I saw a pebble. Then I saw a leaf. Oh, I'm glad we got out of there. I thought that was never going to end. Yeah. Come on, let's get back to the zoo. Yeah. What an adventure, that, wasn't it? Quite an adventure. Yeah. What, trudging about a forest all day just to find out your mate's really boring? Yeah, well, we learnt a valuable lesson, didn't we? You know, that what heroes lesson? have feet of clay. And really big heads. <laughs> it was so weird looking, wasn't it? Was really terrifying. Windy place? Imagine it. Tight silk stretched over pulse wood. Guard! Slapping in the sky. Guard! Get me out of this place! Guard! Guard!